Hello YouTube, today I am going to review the Wii U and so first what you get is you get the disk drive the weird disk drive by the way you get the SD card slot which I have an SD card in there you get two USB ports you get a sync button right there power button, eject button and on the back you get two USB ports, you get a fan yeah, a sensor for the sensor bar, a uh, thing for the sensor bar. I almost said connect, but a sensor for the sensor bar. A It's an AV cable thing, which Nintendo is the only one to, to come up with still having an AV cable thing because Xbox One and PS4 requires HDMI and only HDMI. And finally, Nintendo has HDMI, and then the power port. So the pros and cons are... The pros it has great exclusives. The online is free. You have to pay for Xbox Live Gold, and you have to have a PlayStation Plus membership for the PS4. And and it has a really great internet browser. I love that thing. I love the internet browser, but the internet browser can't play Flash videos. But that's okay. It has a YouTube app. It has a Netflix app. It has a Hulu Plus app. So that's really good. And the next thing is that. You can use multiple controllers, which you can use the Wii U gamepad. I already reviewed it. You can use the Wii U Pro controller. You can use the nunchuck and the Wii Mote plus the original Wii U. Cla I mean, plus the original Wii Classic controller. You know, it has and it has a local five player five five player mode. Like you can play like four players on New Super Mario Bros. U. Plus you can use the Wii U gamepad to to, to build up blocks to make to make it the game easier for the four players. And for the cons, it has it doesn't have lack of third party games. Like it doesn't have it's Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is not coming out for it. Grand Theft Auto 5 is not coming out for it. And I can't really think of any cons really because this system's really good. If alright. Is it worth getting the system? If you're a diehard Nintendo fan and if you love Zelda, you love Mario, you lo like you want to get Mario Maker, you want to get all these first party games, yeah, it's worth a buy if you're a hard, die hard Nintendo fan. But if you're a hardcore gamer and want to get, and want to uh, play like Call of Duty Black Ops 3, that's going to only come out for a PS PC, PS4, and Xbox One, then you should... Wait a while to see if Nintendo will get their head of head of head of their ass, and you should have to wait to see if the Nintendo gets their head of their ass and realize that they have to go to the third party, and the third party won't go to them like the old days, and they're not top dog like they were in the old days, because the third parties aren't coming to them. They have to realize that they have to go to the third party, like Microsoft and Sony are doing. Like Sony's like, hey, we want your games on our consoles. That's not what Nintendo's doing. What Nintendo's is suspect well, Nintendo thinks Nintendo thinks that the third party has to go to them and say hey we want to build our games on your console no Nintendo has to say oh we want your games on our console and finally the Wii U gamepad is a good controller it has it's really comfortable because of the ridges at, or whatever the bumps on the back of the controller and this is for the dock charge I don't know what this thing is yet but it looks like a screw though and yeah, the screen is not HD. It's not like crazy HD like 1080p. But the screen really doesn't need an HD screen. Like let's say your parents are watching like a baseball game on TV. You can play a new Super Mario Bros. U. You can play Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on this thing. It's really great. You can play a multiplayer. You can play the campaign on this thing. It's really awesome. So this has been my Wii U review. And please check out my other videos, my, my gameplay videos and stuff. And this is Jovi1998 signing out. Have a good one.